Hi everybody. So, those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Sam. Um, I am the UK vet that has been obviously dealing with faith um, over in Sierra Leone. I have been advising the vets and, well, the vet Dr Jello and Teddy in helping them with the treatment of faith. Now, I just wanted to quickly come on here and do a video um, because I have not really been publicly getting involved, to be honest. I have tried to keep out of the spotlight, if you like, um, and do this quietly, um, almost privately in a way. I didn't really want to have any drama or any publicity. I just wanted to help Faith at the end of the day. Um, I'm a vet, that's my job. I care about animals, that's all I care about really at the end of the day when it comes to treating people's pets. Um, so really, I think some things need to be said um, and straightened out. Um, because I've been sitting for the last month, maybe, um, maybe not quite a month, but, you know, listening, watching, um, seeing everything that's been sort of said online, talked about, obviously you get a lot of opinionated people out there, which to be honest, we really don't need their opinions on things. Like you really don't need to be out there having negative things to say about anybody never mind people who are trying their best to look after an animal who needs their care um so it's quite upsetting you know for for people certainly when a, a lot of horrible stuff has been said um when everything was getting said about teddy um he you know he's a great guy um i've been speaking to teddy and dr jello quite a lot over this last number of weeks. Anytime they need my help, I'm there. I have a, a full-time job. I own a practice and I'm very, very busy. Um, we've got six children at home, two dogs, two cats. I have an extremely busy life and I have devoted a lot of time to trying to help Faith. I stepped up and came forward to Sam and offered my help Anytime they've needed me, they've contacted me. I've been there. There's messages back and forward between myself and Sam discussing certain things about about faith. I've given advice. Um, when it was said about, you know, the fact that he was not aware of the operation, I had actually sent him messages and I have all the messages on my phone and I did send the messages over to Sam to say this is when... I had spoken to you or, or explained to you um, and he said he hadn't seen, hadn't noticed those messages come through. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes, but I think you, you all just need to be a little bit more, how can I put this, um, a little bit more selective in what you believe or what you choose to believe because... There's a lot of things that are being said that's just, it's not fair and it's not right, especially when we're giving up a lot of our time um, for for an animal that we just want to see get better. Um, so yeah, that that's all really I want to say. I'm not saying anything bad about anybody. I do not want any negativity towards myself because I have done nothing wrong in this whole situation. I'm going to take myself out of the equation in a way. Um, I'm not going to be quite so involved with Sam. To be honest, I haven't heard from Sam for quite a long time now regarding Faith. It's been really me and Teddy and Dr Jallo that I've been discussing and talking about things and trying to work out the best way forward. Um... There was reasons why her surgery was done um, and that was in her best interests at the time. Uh, medical and surgical cases don't always go 
completely to plan or straightforward um, and that's what us as professionals in the veterinary industry understand completely and that a lot of people who don't have our training um, maybe don't understand quite so well so please just just be a little bit more kind and thoughtful in the way you behave um, online because words can hurt and it's not right and that's all I really want to say on the matter so you know I'll be there for faith that is my main priority and I will continue to help if if, if Dr Jallo and Teddy need me any further advice or anything like that, I will be there to help. I have also told Dr Jallo that I will send equipment, um, anything that he needs over. I, I found a way to send stuff over to Sierra Leone to help, not just Faith, but any other animals in their care. I'm happy to keep in contact and send things over, surgical equipment, um, things like that, that they maybe can't get hold of over there. So um, so that's where I'm at. And I hope, I hope everybody understands and why I had to come on here to have my say um but thank you to all of you who do support myself Teddy and Dr Jallo it is much appreciated all right thank you bye hi um everyone again I really didn't want to have to do this but unfortunately I can't just not say anything um after seeing what this um comment has stated that I supposedly Sam is saying on his live that I was wanting peeing. Now this just truly tells us all what a liar Sam Walker is and to be honest you can all say whatever you want about me and you can all continue following him and being completely fooled. I don't deserve this. Teddy certainly does, didn't deserve the abuse that he got from that man. Dr Jallo certainly doesn't deserve any abuse either because all three of us have done what was right for Faith. And I think you all forget as well that Sam wasn't actually Faith's owner. She is not microchipped. He found her on the streets. She is a street dog. And that is what Teddy does through that service. He looks after street dogs. And that's what he's been doing. So really, Sam is not the owner of Faith. Now, you can all say whatever you like about me. I really don't care. I'm going to get on with my life. If Teddy and Dr Jallo need any further advice from me regarding Faith, I will give it and I will help where I can. But I will no longer listen to or have anything further said about me. And to set the record straight, I certainly have not asked for a penny from that man. I do not need his money. I do not need his blood money. All the illegal things that he does, the way he behaves, that is why I've stepped away from this whole situation. The minute I saw all that he was doing in Dublin and the whole setup of being attacked by somebody running up from behind him, it was an absolute joke. And that's when I realised this man is not honest and he can say all he wants. I really do not care. I am a genuine person. The people who know me know that. So I just wanted to put the record straight.